Hi, I'm Marius from Mways Photography, and welcome back to our third video on the editing workflow using Photomate. Now, so far we have successfully imported the images from the camera to the tablet, and we have sorted the images using the rating system to see only the images that we want to see and we want to work on. So now, let's start editing. So I'm going to click on the first image, and then I'm going to get a slightly larger view here. I'm going to click on that. And then when I get this larger view, at the top you will see Edit XMP. I'm going to click on that. And then I'm going to get all my editing options. Now with this image, I want to warm it up a little. So I can either take that slider, the white balance slot, I can drag it left or right. And that will allow me to adjust it either to a colder tone or a warmer tone. But I'm rather going to use the plus minus settings on here so that we have a more accurate way of editing. So I'm going to use the plus here. And I'm just going to plus to it, so you can see that nice warm glow we get. If you press on it, you'll see the before and after. And then I'm going to go to the blacks and to the contrast. Just going to add a bit of contrast to this image. And then I'm happy. Maybe I can go to the vignetting and add some vignetting on the edges. Maybe it's a little bit too much. And then maybe just go to the full light. Just add a full light slightly. I think I'm going to go with that. Now when I'm done, I can just go here to the Save XMP side file. And then those settings have now been sa saved as an extra XMP side file. Now I can go back, back again, and you will see here that image will now update with the edited one. And then I'm going to go to the next image. Click on that. Go to the Edit XMP. Now this image should be turned around. So I'm going to go to the crop tool right here, crop image, and I'm going to go anti-clockwise with that little uh, option right there, anti-clockwise 90 degrees, and now the image is, well, the image is correct, so I'm just going to go save. Okay, so now the image is tilted the way that I want to see it. Now I'm going to go to the white balance here, so I'm just going to warm this image up a little, like that. I'm going to go to the full light, add a little bit of the full light. And then go to the contrast, add some of that. And if you look at the before and after, just the colors, you'll notice it looks a lot better. So now I'm going to go to the clarity. I'm going to take the saturation down a little. I'm going to push the vibrance up. That's a little bit too much. I think that'll be perfect. Then I'm going to go to the vignetting amount. I'm going to take it down again to the minus side. I'm going to get some nice vignetting around the image. And then I'm going to save the XMP side file, but I'm also going to save this as a template. So when I click on Save as Template, I'm going to get this option that says New Template. I'm going to select that, and I'm just going to call this Forest Shoot. Now I can delete this at a later stage. So you can create as many templates as you want, and you can delete them when you're done. So now that template has been saved. Now I'm going to go back and back again. Now you'll see that image will, up, will also update there sooner. You can see the one that's edited, but now I want to sync that over to these two as well. So I'm going to go to this screen right here, the more options, and I'm going to go to multi-select. So I'm going to choose that, and then I'm going to choose the two images that I want to run that template on as well. Then I'm going to go to those three stars right there. I'm going to click on that. And then you can see here it says choose XMP template and it's called the batch options. So I'm just going to go to choose XMP template. I'm going to run that forest shoot. So I choose that and I say apply. You're going to see it's going to flip over those two images because they were on their sides and the editing has now been done on them. So I'm just going to turn this multi select off and then I can go to the quick browse. We can have a closer look and see that batch process that we've completed there or that we've done. So this image has been changed with that forest shoot batch um, XMP side file that we ran over it. The same with this one. And it worked very easily. It's going to go back. And we can actually run that template on this image as well. So let's go to this image. I'm going to choose this one, the second last image. Go to the edit XMP setting. And at the bottom, you'll see it has a function called load template. I'm going to choose that. And you'll also see at the end of the forest shoot, there's a little X right there. 
So if you want to delete that forest shoot at a later time, you can just click on that and it will delete that template. So you're not going to end up with like a gazillion templates right here and it becomes very cluttered. Now I'm going to run this forest shoot on this image. Just look how quickly it did the editing for me. Just ran all the settings that we've done here. For instance, if you look here at, for instance, say vignette amount was minus completely. There you can see it was minus and you can see the image is warmer. So all the settings that we applied on that, on that second image has now been applied on this one as well. And it was very quick. So let's go look at the last image. I'm going to go to that one. Just click on that. Now this one again we need to rotate. So I'm going to go to edit XMP. I'm going to go to the crop image. I'm going to rotate it um, anti-clockwise by 90 degrees. And just say save. Then this image I'm thinking I want to go black and white. So I'm going to go to the saturation. I'm just going to drag the saturation down so that we've got a black and white image. And then this is now actually more grayscale. We still need to add some contrast in here so we can really make it black and white. I'm going to add some full light. It's very dark. And then also add a little bit of that exposure. And then I'm going to increase the blacks. That was a little bit too hard <laughs> or too harsh. Um, let's just fine tune it a little. I think maybe a little more of the full light. And there we go, we've got a nice black and white. Also going to add some vignetting on here. I love vignetting. <laughs> just going to add a vignetting around the image and there we go. I'm just going to save this as an XMP file. Going to go back, back, back. Back. And then when you look at all the images, you'll see they all have been turned around. I don't know why this one hasn't updated. I must have forgot to save the XMP side file. Just let me do that again quickly. Okay, so I'm just going to load that template again. Load template, forest shoot. So I must have forgotten to choose the save XMP side file. Okay, that's done. Back, back back and they are all our all six images are done so that's that for this video and in the fourth and final video we are going to look at at batch saving these images but also changing the file size and also then how to submit our images to social media and also email so that's that for this video and i'll see you in the next one